Shit, dog, word up. I still can't find my weed card and shit. It's packed away in some boxes, y'all know what I'm saying? So I ain't breaking no laws up in this bitch. Like I said before, you could just take my word for it that I got my weed card. But if you don't, it's cool. I'm over 21 and we in Washington, so the shit's legal. Ain't breaking no laws up in this bitch. So if you're a Google moderator doing your moderating, all you gotta do is uh, age restrict that shit. Ain't gotta take that shit down and fuck up my community guideline standings. You feel me, dog? Word. Okay, so... You see, there's the top of the tube. 90 minutes ago, I ran eight cans worth of butane in one tank. That's just to give you an example. Threw a pound of weed into this column here, which is actually a tank. And then, as you can see how it's all frosty, because it's cold as fuck, there's dry ice in there. Right here's a butterfly valve, so it's closed. Everything's in there. There's still a vacuum pulled down here. As you can see by the gauge, but to ensure that no pressure has been lost, I'm actually going to hook the back pump back up to it in the way I'm about to show you now. And this is my little technique of passively pulling it through the filters, because as you can see here, there's actually a built-in Buckner file, per se. As you see right here, there's the uh, three-inch sight glass. Down below that is an adapter from three to four inch, and that also compresses a uh, four micron ashless lab filter in there, okay? And then below that is a down stem that goes down into this tank. So um, just like the Buckner funnel, it, the uh, liquid actually drips out below the ports so you're not sucking any liquid into the ports. Now we're not sucking with an actual vacuum pump. We're just using the negative pressure from this other tank, the recovery tank which is also in ice water right now to keep it cold um, because I'm going to be recovering um, as soon as it goes down in there. Actually some tain vapor is going to get pulled up the lines and condensed into liquid in this tank while I'm filtering. And as soon as I get one more of these, it's just a quick connect. It's a one inch quick connect with a uh, adapter down to quarter inch. So I can hook it to that line. I just need one more of those. So I can have one on this bottom port, or bottom uh, tank right here. And then I can have a line to the Appion, and then from the Appion to this. So I can use active, well I can be recovering while I'm pulling it through the filter. So I can pull it through the filters, as soon as it lands in there, turns into a vapor and gets recovered. That'll be cool. Um, so let me go ahead and get fucking started here. Stop rambling. Uh, if you're expecting to see some smoking in this video, I'm sorry. You're gonna get bummed. But you could, you, you've seen on the gauge, I already showed you, this is at a full vacuum. I'm gonna close the butterfly valve to it, or sorry, ball valve, and seal it off so this tank is sealed. The valve to the pump is sealed too. I'm gonna attach the uh, recovery line or whatever the fuck you call this thing. I think it's stainless steel on the outside and it's like Teflon on the inside. PTFE, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Let me know. I know it's not like, it's not some rubber ass hose. Okay, that's attached. Make sure. I'm back over to this one. It's on. If it ever gives you trouble, give it a little wiggle while you're pushing. It's just that the things aren't lined up to push that um, valve stem thingy in. But now, see, like I mentioned, this is at a vacuum, and I'm going to pump again to ensure that it's at a vacuum. Before I do that, I'm gonna do it in this way. I'm gonna turn the pump on. Pump's on. Now I'm gonna open the valve from this line to the pump, now that this line's at a full vacuum. Or to the chamber, sorry, from this line to the chamber. Now, as you hear the pump change noises, I guess it wasn't at absolute, as deep as the vacuum can go in there. So, um, I don't have the gauge on there. I go by, I mean, the pump. It makes a sound once it gets to a full vacuum and it starts running smooth. Now, to evacuate the air in the line, you're gonna hear the pump drop down again because there's, this isn't a vacuum. Especially if you're using a, um, if you're using a recovery pump, you definitely want to make sure everything's out of vacuum. You don't want, you want, the reason for that is to make sure that the uh, oxygen saturation level is low enough or whatever the hell. There's not enough parts per million of oxygen to fuel a flame. That's what we're trying to 
achieve when we're using a recovery pump, so it's safer. Now I'm going to open this. You're going to hear the pump make a different sound. That's because it's they found some pressure to remove. I'm going to wait for it to pull back again. I'm just getting all of the um, pressure out of this line, so it's out of vacuum also. When I open the valve and I de-wax, I'll be showing you guys in this sight glass how foggy it is because it's sitting in that tank right now and all of the impurities that got extracted, even though I have the same filter from down there, I have the same filter up here. It's not any finer, but that shit got dissolved, whether it be from pressure or what. I don't know. People always talk about if you have a cold tube, like a sub-zero that you won't extract any of it. Bullshit. So after I do the extraction, it's all down here. Then after it sets there for, you can go a day if you want. I go between an hour and two hours. Everything is like solidifying in there to where it's like pulp in orange juice. I mean, sorry, in orange juice or lemonade or whatever, anything. When you have the pulp in there, then when you open this up and it goes through, it's not actually pulp in case you're an idiot, but I'm just giving you an example of what it looks like. Then when it gets goes and down to the bottom tank, which is also on dry ice, so the it doesn't hit anything warmer than the butane is and start to expand and I lose some of my um, vacuum. That's the only reason that's on dry ice, to keep the tank liquid and molecules as tight as possible because if they expand, that you start losing your vacuum. So uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, so you're pretty much sucking it through those filters so you can filter out that pulp looking stuff. And then once it's down in there, it's absolute looking. I mean, I don't like to call it an absolute because people who do that in the actual um, botanical extraction industry refer to an absolute as when you do a, a hydrocarbon extraction and then winterize with the uh, ethanol. So they don't call what we're doing an absolute. So I, I don't know. I don't want to mislead patients also. Most patients, when they're looking for absolute, they're looking for like Mario Una, marijuana. Uh, style of awesomeness but okay now I'm gonna open the port to the bottom and uh, ensure that everything's at a full vacuum still pump didn't make any pump didn't change the sound it's still all at a full vacuum uh, the gauge I still have the gauge too so now everything's opened up so if you were thinking I was an idiot for not having a gauge on there it's all connected and that gauge is telling me it's at a full vacuum all the ports are open, so we're at a full vacuum. So now I'm going to go backwards of the way I just went. Close this one. Close. Make sure you can see. Close this one. The recovery tank has these clip things, so it actually locks the, the valve. I can't move it unless I pull that up. That's awesome. And now, I, and most importantly, I close the one to the pump. I'm going to turn the pump off. All right. So, you guys ready for some awesomeness? The way I'm going to get my suction, there's already enough suction to pull it through most of the way. Okay? Then once it stops, I'm going to open that valve to this hose and then that valve to that chamber, and that's still at a full vacuum too. I keep calling it a chamber, but it's a fucking recovery pump, recovery tank. So um, I'll get all of the vacuum from in there too, and that should pull it the rest of the way through. We'll find out. Ready? Ready for the awesomeness? Cheers. Ready, set, go. And there she is. And now we're at positive pressure. Open this and open this. And there she goes. And that is closed loop de-waxing. So now I've got to do my recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this shit off. And uh, get to what I'm doing. Gotta stop now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
If you watch Dave McGee's video, you see what I did before this video, and you see what I'm gonna do after this video, which you watch him to see me do the extraction, watch him to see the extraction, and watch him to see the recovery. This is the only thing that his shit don't do, and uh, what I had to show you, so peace.